Artificial insemination, otherwise known as AI, has long been a breeding tool available to cattlemen, but its adoption in commercial herds still lingers around 10%. Well, I think uh, commercial cattlemen now with the technology that we have and all the research that's gone into all of these timed AI programs, I think it's, it's a lot easier for a commercial cattleman to use AI now than it's ever been in history. Uh, he can use that also besides just getting the AI work done, so to speak. He can also use it then as a genetic improvement tool, obviously, uh, to move his herd in a certain direction to try and create more uniformity in his herd and to uh, create the type of cattle that he wants to market. As a registered Angus breeder in Missouri, Eggers uses the technology extensively to bring in several new bloodlines and create diverse genetic options. We recommend that the commercial producers try to have more homozygosity, uh, try, try to keep their bloodlines a little bit narrower, but, but we have to uh, try to create uh, some new and divergent bloodlines ourselves in order to supply those commercial producers with, with different bloodlines down through the years. But AI can just as easily be used to create herd consistency once a cattleman identifies his main goals. Then he can combine the, the natural service SARS uh, with his AI program to create more uniformity of bloodlines in that respect uh, by using uh, either half-brothers or, uh, or sons of the bull that he is uh, AIing to. Then the key to using AI successfully is to find a way to capitalize on that effort you've put forth. There's a lot of uh, good commercial producers in this state and some of them actually pretty small producers that have uh, come up with innovative ways uh, working with their seed stock producer, working with other commercial producers to uh, to, to get the rewards back for their cattle, uh, for, for the better genetics that they've been putting into those cattle through the years. Uh, some of them are doing this at, at weaning time and co-mingling and, and uh, partnering up with feedlots. Some of them are feeding the cattle out and then uh, doing a, a joint marketing effort.